Hey everyone, in the news this week, a space launch in Cornwall went awry after an anomaly caused the rocket to crash into the sea, and a government spokesperson was reported to have said that they should have gotten Harry Kane to launch it instead, whilst a North Korean government spokesperson said that their kingdom would retaliate by firing two rockets into the ocean. A number of nearby smug neurosurgeons looked at the dejected rocket scientists and commented that it was hardly brain surgery. Also, Lisa Marie Presley passed away at the age of 54, the family are reported to be all shook up. And talking about death, 68 people died in the Himalayas after a plane crashed near the city of Pankara in Nepal. I say 68 people, although the number could be more, there were after all reports of very large paw prints leading away from the crash and up into the mountains. But of course it's another week and yet more grumblings from Prince Harry talking about his emotional baggage. Now, I always thought that was not expression, emotional baggage. I'd go for a grief case if I was him. To play devil's advocate though, people were always complaining, including me, about him constantly going on talk shows and interviews and the like. But if it was a choice of fly to New York to chat with Jimmy Fallon or spend three days stuck in a house with Meghan, I'd already be ordering the taxi. As to his next career move, I'd recommend getting a gig with the insurance industry. You know, you could always get a no claims bonus guaranteed with Prince Harry insurance, you know, where it's always the other person's fault. Anyway, see you next week. Flight these clicks subscribed.